Okay, I'm about to set up the tent, and I just wanted to draw your attention to this. Uh, see this little cord right here? When you first buy the tent, it comes all wrapped up just like this. And you just pull the string, and, and it comes out, and it's in your hand, and you're like, oh, well, gee, I hope I don't lose that string. But uh, we'll talk more about that string here in a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and set this up, and, uh, and we'll see what's what. Okay, so the first thing I did was just lay it out. And then I'm going to stake out the four corners, one, two, three, and four. And once I have it staked out, I'm going to put the frame on it, clip it all together, and uh, show you what it looks like without the rain fly on. Okay, friends. This is the Big Agnes Copper Spur UL1 without the rain fly. I just set it up. I did not use a ground cloth or a ground sheet at all. Um, just going to see what, this is going to be my beater tent for a few years and if it gets holes in it, so be it. Um, okay, so the main differences between this tent and the previous model, this is the second version 2012 of this tent. Two main differences are this top cross pole on the older version it used to come out to here on both sides and there used to be another small little rainbow door right here that you could open and maybe put your shoes right here so they took that zipper out and shortened the cross pole on top now that's what they did to the uh, poles and the inner tent they made um, a change to the rain fly as well and I'll tell you about that as soon as I put the rain fly on but um, I sat in this at home for a little while it's uh, the same the floor space is the same dimensions as the Big Agnes Fly Creek UL1 and I had that in one of my videos I used it for one trip and then sold it on eBay. The same floor dimensions as this tent, except instead of having the door on the side, the door was right here. So this is where the door is on the Fly Creek uh, UL1, um, and the floor is the same dimensions where it's wider at the head and more narrow at the foot. Um, interestingly enough, there's a seam that's sealed right there in the middle. Um, the Fly Creek UL1 just has one piece, so I kind of like that better, but I did not like the door on the end right here. And not only that, it didn't have a cross piece which raises the sides up. Uh, it didn't have these connectors either, so it was really narrow. It, it was like a coffin. Um, nice tent, but it wasn't for me. Uh, I looked at the uh, MSR Hubba, I've looked at the uh, the new Easton Kilo one-person tent, the Nemo, the Nemo OB1P 1P tent, and uh, none of those seem to put it all together the way Big Agnes did. And um, when I tested this at home, I really, really enjoyed it, and I couldn't wait to bring it out in the trail and test it out for you folks here tonight. So let me put the uh, rain fly on it before it gets dark and we'll see what that looks like. All right. Uh, for you, it was instant. For me, it was a couple minutes, but not long. Here she is with the rain fly on. And you guy out uh, some of the points there, right there. Let's look at this one here. So using, you get three wires on this side, right? Oh, you have to prop this up too. That's what I love about this tent. Uh, unlike my Hubba Hubba does not have that ventilation right above the head. Uh, three guy lines all come down and connect to one stake. So you have the three adjustable guy lines all pulling pressure on that. And they all attach to one stake, so you don't need three separate stakes. I think that's pretty cool. Um, looks like I have this a little off-centered. I could, 
adjust that fly on there just a little bit better so it runs along this seam here and makes this a little tighter. I'll adjust that in a minute. Remember a little while ago I was talking about that extra piece of string? Well, <clears throat> on the back side of the tent, there's a loop here, and clearly they want you to stake this out. Um, and I'm like, well, hey, you know, that's the stake doesn't come up that high. How do you do that? So guess what? That extra piece of uh, string that comes to tie everything together, that is going to be used to tie that and then onto my stake over here. So I just thought that, oh, they pretty clever gave you everything you needed. You just had to kind of figure it out on your own. And that's pretty much it for the Big Agnes Copper Spur. The one difference that I wanted to tell you about between this year's model and the previous model, right there. You see all that orange? The older models have gray. So the fly is all gray in that area on the older models. So somebody who knows a little bit about gear if you see one of these copper spur tents and you happen to notice that that side is gray, then you know that they have the older version. And if it's orange, then you know that they have at least a 2012. Okay, so here we are all set up. We've got the, uh, I'm telling you, this place is crawling with ticks. They are everywhere. But anyway, we have it all set up. We're using the uh, backpack as partial pillow with pillow. We've got the sleeping bag on top of the Thermorest Neo Air Trekker. There's our t-shirt. Got a couple of bugs in there. We're gonna go ahead and seal it on up for now as we're not gonna be using it. And there you have it, folks. All set up. I'm excited.